to our channel, Date Nights Matter. We're so excited about today's topic, sex and intimacy. Let's <laughs> get right into it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a lot of couples stay away from this topic, yeah. especially putting it out for the world. But especially in our bedrooms, we don't really talk about it enough. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we thought it would be a great episode to just share our journey. We've been together 11 years, so we've had a lot of ups and downs and a lot of conversations and a lot to work through. So we're here to just share that and hopefully answer some questions and give some advice. I'm really excited to hop into this topic, honestly, because I feel like us men, we just think of sex and intimacy as the bedroom yeah and just let's get to it you know let's get after it right but intimacy exists outside of the bedroom yeah when we first met it was that was the expectation mm -hmm. that you gave um and i think that's the number one thing you guys have to talk about in yeah. a couple is the foundation mm -hmm. the foundation 100%. is the most important so what are our expectation what are mine what are yours what does our sex life look like? What does intimacy mean to me, to you? So that way, moving forward, yeah. if we're not seeing eye to eye, we're not connecting, we should go back right to the foundation mm -hmm. and where we started. If those things have changed, then you can talk about that yeah. in that moment. And if they haven't, then you reestablish those boundaries and keep moving forward to get yourself back into having intimate conversations exactly. and intimate life yeah. with each other. Yeah, definitely. I mean, our intimacy has definitely changed since... Mm -hmm. We were, what, 18 and 20 years old, yeah. you know what I mean? Just it's in totally sense of, different now. <laughs> you know, the act of doing things for each other, mm -hmm. you know, without being asked and just learning, as you mentioned, the expectations that we set, you know, cleaning the house, doing those little things. Right. And again, as that Because that over, counts as intimacy, exactly. especially for women and mm -hmm. men. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you cleaned up around the house... <laughs> and helped and shared some of the responsibilities, yeah. you probably have a better time in the bedroom. Right. <laughs> a lot more often, I'll say that. That's, okay? that's the key. <laughs> Help out. It's 50-50. I yeah. think that's, that's definitely the misconception for yeah. sure, where it's just, all right, I'm a provider, you know, mm -hmm. going out, protecting the family, doing all those things, loving your family. Those are the things that we think about as men, but at the same time, take care of those household items, mm -hmm. you know? I'm taking care of Kingston. You're taking care of Kingston. Hey, I got it. You yeah, cook. I'll exactly. cook. You know, just really sharing. Um, there's no specific gender roles that I think we have here. And I think that yeah, does carry over for intimacy as well. That know? helps. Yeah, exactly. Because I don't feel so overwhelmed. And then I'm not as tired at night. And I can give myself to you now exactly. in that way. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So I think that's going into handling challenges. I think mm -hmm. that's another thing that you guys have to think about um, as a couple when you're going through life together is how do you handle those yeah. challenges? And again, you go back to the foundation that you set. Mm -hmm. Talk about that first. Yeah, yeah. I think I remember one of the challenges we faced, you know, early on, it was just like, you know, hey, I want to do it right now, but hey, I'm not in the mood right now, you yeah. know, but really learning to collaborate in that sense of saying, okay, hey, I need you to help around the house. Hey, and then we started yeah. to learn. And, and I actually think communicating that, that yes, exactly. effectively in, in a exactly. nice way, because that's, a hard topic again mm -hmm. it could come out as because women especially we get a little frustrated and it's like why aren't you helping and just yeah. being mean about it if you're nice and be like hey can you please pick up and no you shouldn't have to mm -hmm. obviously but sometimes you do mm -hmm. can't read your mind yeah so yeah, exactly. that's a big thing so communicating that hey can you help out around the house and then vice versa you being able to come to me and being like hey like we haven't had sex in a while, yeah. like, you know, this, things are lacking exactly, here. Exactly. <laughs> um, and me being open and receptive to that right, information. Right, not taking defense to it and mm -hmm. understanding, okay, he's bringing this up for a reason. Right? Exactly. Actually, we haven't, you know, and I have been in a certain mood and we're able to talk about mm -hmm. that in those moments. But again, that goes back to the foundation. We're, exactly. We were very open at a young age, I'll say exactly. that, about what we wanted. Yeah. <laughs> we were both very particular, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and always We're going back particular. to that in a sense <laughs> while growing together, but always in the back of my mind, we know this is what we want in our marriage and in our relationship. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I think the last thing that is super important is finding those times to actually connect with each other. Yeah. yeah. Um, and taking that time away from everybody, away from everything, all the responsibilities, yeah. everything. Yeah. And taking that time. I think one of my favorite times was um, last summer. Mm -hmm. when we went to bali oh yeah and yeah. that was specifically a trip just for us to yeah. reconnect right after we had our son we decided to take some time take a little vacation just for us two, yeah. just to reconnect because it was a hard time that was yeah. 
probably the hardest time I would say mm -hmm. as far as like sex and intimacy goes in our relationship 100%. where we felt really disconnected from one another. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the challenges of just becoming a parent, yeah. you know, that alone. So we knew, we were like, all right, we're taking this week, no distractions, you know, King's is going to stay with my mother-in-law, we are good, yeah. and just really unwind, and that yeah. was definitely the and most relaxing. And that really helped us know. connect. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. And we came back a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. Mentally, we were in a better place for ourselves, emotionally, yeah. everything. We got to talk everything out and mm -hmm. just enjoy each other and yeah. have fun, just like we did when we first met. Exactly. And that's the key the to it. The breaks are necessary. Yeah, you know? the breaks are necessary, and you have to continue dating each other yeah. and acting like you guys first met mm -hmm. even when life gets in the way because that's the key to exactly. staying together exactly but i think we can get into some questions now what Ooh, do you think let's do it yeah all right so we got a little mason jar of our questions that we get asked and just that we've seen so we'll start here okay how do you stay physically attracted to the other mm. I mean, I think even just it's again the <laughs> foundation and the discipline that I think we've set together yeah. of just working out. You yeah. know, this morning we wake up, we work out, and I think that alone keeps us physically attracted. You mm -hmm. know, in the sense of like you taking care of yourself. Yeah, you know, you're going to get your nails I love done. Love that you take care. Yeah, <laughs> 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 his camera is on when you back off. <laughs> But no, I think oh, yeah. just, you know, taking that, you know, that me time and self-care, you know, that really does show, you know, when yeah. it comes to that physical attraction. Like, I mean, look at you, you know. <laughs> but yeah. No, I love that you actually care and you dress nice, you smell nice, you go get a haircut, mm -hmm. you groom yourself. Men, go ahead and groom yourself. Yeah. You might learn something. <laughs> but no, seriously, I love that, that yeah. you take care of yourself. And same with me, like. You just take care of me. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go ahead and do the next one. Let's okay. see. All right. How do you keep romance alive outside of the bedroom? Mm. Mm. That's a yeah, good I one. think I think we touched on this at least for me. Again, helping out around the house, mm -hmm. sharing the responsibilities, but yeah. also I'll say too, I love like those little small things throughout the day where you text and make sure I'm okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Just checking in. Just checking in with me, mm -hmm. holding my hand. We cut on the couch when it's yeah. easy to sit separate and be on our phones. We take that extra time to actually mm -hmm. connect in those moments in the small ways, like physical touch. It's not super important to either of us, mm -hmm. I feel like, but just you still need it in a relationship. Yeah. Those small things, like that really helps outside of the bedroom leading exactly. into the bedroom. Exactly. And I think it comes down to one thing when it comes to keeping romance alive. Ladies. Please understand, do not wear granny <laughs> panties, <laughs> all right? <laughs> we never got there. I hear about it out there. I know it's a struggle. I get it. <laughs> They're comfortable. But please do not wear granny panties. It is not attractive. No men like it, right? It's not going to help when it comes into the bedroom. And obviously, <laughs> you know, all jokes aside, we do a lot of favors outside of the bedroom, as we mentioned, you know, sharing household duties, you know, taking care of kinks or whatever it may be. But no one wants to see anyone walk around frumpy <laughs> with the grand babies. I, I'm, not, no, that's I'm not dealing with it. That's something, me. again, in our foundation, we set yeah. pretty early on. Because I was always wearing my bonnet, having like, yeah, we had you know, just like the frumpy clothes. <laughs> not necessarily the granny panties, nah, but the yeah, frumpy yeah. clothes. Old high school t-shirt. Oh, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. But no, I, I think when you expressed that to me, again, uh, I could have taken it the wrong way, mm -hmm. but also I just took it as you wanted to see me in a nicer, more, yeah. you know, nicer way. And that there's nothing wrong with that either. We should care about it, exactly. how we look to our partner. Yeah. And that's, I was going to say, it also comes back to the fellas as well, right? You know, don't wear the frumpy clothes either. Yeah. You know, that's not attractive to your woman. And I think those exactly. things that you did early <laughs> on to get that woman never forget those things yep. right you know if you continuously you know just get used to each other you start taking it for granted mm -hmm. you know and it's just like all right you start fading away right mm -hmm. but doing those things you're always dating and i think that's something that we kept top of mind yeah always be dating yeah all okay. right let's do the next question <laughs> how often should we be having sex minimum two to three times a week <laughs> <laughs> at a minimum at a minimum that's just the bare minimum 
，糟了。Okay. <laughs> 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 I agree. So <laughs> we can move on. <laughs> But I'll say one thing to that, like. Obviously, those times comes where you're not feeling as、mm-hmm. attracted to each other or to yourself, or and wanna be intimate, things、yeah. like that. Again, go back to the foundation, figure that out, and then keep moving、yeah. forward. So that way, you can get back to a place where you are having sex two to three times a week、yeah. or more. Communication, <laughs> communication, communicate, communicate, communicate. Explain your perfect date night that would lead to increased intimacy.、Hmm. Let me think. Interesting. I think. I mean, I think we kind of do this. I loved for my birthday. You know, we went to the concert,、mm-hmm. and before the concert, we went out to dinner to a nice restaurant, had drinks. You、yeah. know, and that I think is like perfect for me. You yeah. Know, we go have drinks and good food. We get to listen to some great music, and then we get to go home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a yeah, simple man.、Perfect. You know,、yeah. I mean? it's、that's、nothing、perfect. too complicated. But I, I love that. You know. We get nice and you know feeling good. You get all dolled up. Yeah. And, you know, put our nice clothes on and no, step out. Get the car washed. You know.、Yeah. <laughs> Do all the things. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I think for me, I think anything that is us spending time together.、Mm-hmm. My love language is quality time.、Yeah. So know your partner's love language because mine is quality time. We can do anything. That.、Yeah. Um, if we're on the couch and just chilling at、mm-hmm. home, as long as we're. Being together and it's quality time. We're not、yeah. on our phones. We're actually talking. You know, we're having fun, laughing, things、exactly. like that. Exactly. Yeah. Quality time. <laughs> All right. We have two more questions. Just two more. How do you view spiritual intimacy in relationships? Oh, this is a good. good one. This is a big one. Very big. I mean,、yeah. we're both, you know, firm believers in God. But I feel like you know we both were raised in the church. I think you were a bit more involved in terms of volunteering and things like that. But I think also in the sense of when we met in college, we didn't have a church to go to. Yeah. You know, I mean, luckily your hometown was relatively close, so we were able to drive home. You know,、mm-hmm. for holiday breaks and things of that sort. But we didn't have、that、a church we went to consistently. Yeah, that was hard, and I think that you know? definitely affected the first、definitely. few years of our relationship. One hundred. Because once we did find a church home and we were going more consistently. We were、uh, actually having those mm-hmm. talks, mm-hmm. which helped our intimacy、yeah. ultimately. Because after church, we would have something to talk about. What did you think of the word today?、Mm-hmm. What did you think about church?、Yeah. Things like that, and that helped us grow closer to、100%. one another and really understand each other on a deeper level. So we were able to connect, and then again, moving forward, we were able to connect in the bedroom as exactly. well. Exactly, exactly. It definitely carried over.、Huge. I mean. Aligning our life goals, right?、Mm-hmm. You know, the foundation that we spoke about、exactly. that was formed then, and I think all these things that we're able to do now、mm-hmm. is because of that foundation with Christ. Honestly, yeah, you know? exactly. And that's just who we are. Never、yeah. going to change. And <laughs> you know, anytime, God's plan, yeah. yeah. And anytime that things aren't going right and we feel off,、mm-hmm. we always again go back to that foundation. And again, we look. Okay, have we been going to church?、Mm-hmm. Have we been praying together?、Yeah. Have we been opening up in that way? And if we haven't, then we take some time to do that. And、exactly. again, taking that time away from everything because you get busy in life.、Yeah. You keep going. You keep going. You keep going. And then realize, wait, like we haven't really spoke to each yeah, other in a、yeah. while. Like. We need to go ahead and talk and kind of get back to one another. Yeah, yeah.、Know? I mean, involving God in our marriage is the reason we're here today. Yeah, driving, absolutely, you know? absolutely. And you start to see the fruit from all the hard work. Yeah. You know? So definitely, no, definitely. <laughs> I love you. Next. <laughs> Worst. All right, last last question. question. Last question. What's your favorite tip for couples looking to spice up their sex life?、Hmm. Go to a sex store. <laughs> it's freaky, it's freaky now. <laughs> I mean, that's like going to be the fastest. I yeah, mean, you、yeah. break down in communication. It might not happen all at once, but、mm-hmm. at least you go to a sex store. You have some fun together.、Yeah. You pick out some new things, new toys, and come home. Yeah, let me let me jump in here. We are not out of control with the. <laughs> The、I、straps mean, and hanging from the ceiling. Just、honey. keep it simple. You know, start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to do whatever makes you. We、happy. don't have no contraptions upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have a sex room or anything. Nothing crazy. You know, you can start with the basics. You know? Yeah, there's plenty of things. That's the thing. You go to a sex store, you see、yeah. like they actually have like a lot. 
yeah, for anything sure. that you're into, Definitely. even from the small to the big. Definitely, you have Sex all is that important. Fun. Don't shy but away it from it. Important. You know? It is important. You connect through that, Definitely. you know, and it helps Definitely. with the communication because then you actually kind of like each other. You exactly. Know? You're exactly. in a better mood. You're not as stressed. Exactly. <laughs> Let me think how I would answer this to spice up. I would honestly say just go on a date night. Yeah. That's just how, yeah. you know, I always view things. I feel like when we're in that period. <laughs> I of... took it so far left and you're just, oh, just let's go on a date night. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it always goes back to that. If we're going through a tough time, it's yeah. like, all right, we haven't had a break from, you know, Kingston in a while, you know, and, or it may just be overwhelmed with work, whatever it may be. It's like, all right, let's see if we can get to babysitting yeah. and let's, let's get a night to ourselves. And that always, I think, brings us back to reality. You know, you have those conversations, you're able to laugh, you know. Mm-hmm. And then all this doesn't have to be a restaurant, you know, a comedy yeah, show, anything, movie, you know, Boy, it doesn't matter. Cooking just, together, as anything. you mentioned, quality time anything. and just doing yeah. something together without distractions, I think exactly. is very important. Exactly. Well, I think that was good. That was our last question. Yeah. Um, and hopefully you guys can take something away from this and leave us some advice. Yeah. Give us some questions down below in the comments and we can kind of talk about it a little bit more. But there's so many different things that you can do to kind of spice it up. Mm-hmm. It just really... Depends on what works for you and exactly. your partner. You guys got to talk about it. That's exactly. the thing. You got to talk, 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 talk. Communication. Talk. Communication, Communication is number one. If you have any comments, advice, leave it down below. Like this video, subscribe to our page, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our next video.